In this video for the SQL Fundamentals series, I'm going to introduce the Human Resources data model uh, provided whenever you install Oracle XE or uh, any other Oracle database. So you will need your Oracle account. If you're working off of Oracle XE, you'll be a system administrator and have access to the HR schema. Uh, but if you're getting an account from someone else, you may have to ask to get the permissions to, to uh, view data from the HR schema. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to switch over to SQL Developer in just a minute and I will log in as Sys and then I will unlock the HR account and change the password and then I will create a database connection. So moving over to SQL Developer I already have a connection as Sys and all I have to do is double click that to make my connection. Then I can type in the command alter user HR. It does not have to be in capital letters, but I wanted it to stand out. And then I can type in account unlock, and then I can run that command. And I'll see user altered, and that means that account is unlocked. Then I can type in alter user, alter user. Uh, HR and I will say identified by and then type in a password and I'm just going to type in monkey right now for the password that would be the password and I can run that command and then I can come over here and add a new connection I'm going to type in XE for the connection label or name and then do HR and then type in the username which is HR and then I type in my password if you're on your own personal computer no other, no other people are going to use it you could save that password I don't need to make any other changes and then I can do a connection and I'm now connect have a connection as HR so I can expand the table section and I will see that I have tables uh, in this schema I could select a particular table and it opens up a window that shows me the I have several tabs here this shows the definition of the columns I can click the data tab and get a view of some of the data so now we're ready to talk about uh, the actual data model how these tables go together so the data model is shown here for human resources. You have departments, locations, employees, countries, regions, job history, and jobs. This particular model has several one-to-many relationships. Um, and most of these are what we would call a binary relationship. Two tables related to each other. You have some things that are interesting in that you have department and employee related more than one time. And you also have a unary relationship of employee to employee, which typically is because of supervisory positions. Some employees supervise or manage other employees. So for the remainder of these uh, SQL uh, series of videos, we will be working with HR and we will be working with the student teams. Now you can create the data model uh, using a nice feature in SQL Developer called Data Modeler. So I'm going to show you that very briefly here. I'm going to switch over and I'm going to get rid of the employees window. And then I'm going to uh, go to File, Data Modeler, and I'm going to Import, and I'm going to import the Data Dictionary. That means the existing data definitions within a, a schema. And so I get a request for which schema and I go ahead and click HR. Uh, actually I guess I need to click that again. Okay and then after several seconds then I see the actual uh, tables which are not shown clearly in this video you can just see them partially, but I can take those and simply click Next 
and it's going to import the seven tables and then I click finish and I have to scroll around I can't get everything in this particular video screen but you do see that we have a data model uh, that gives us a lot of useful information you could create this and then print it out as a reference so you have a nice feature in SQL developer the data modeler to create a, uh, a data model in any case you need to make sure you have copies of the data model for the student teams and human resources the more simplistic diagrams I put up at the uh, database topics URL and you should have those printed and keep keep those handy as we work with the databases it's important that you know how the databases precisely join together uh, and that you don't waste a lot of time trying to figure that out each time you write an SQL statement